five foot shorebird which pounded right on that field grass of the rock. If somebody was on the west side of that rock, or you, and you didn't do the right thing, you picked up. Next two weeks, we have a cave tour over at the uh, at the Goldfish Point. All right, this is like a life-changing event for those who have never been on it. It's one of the eighth wonders of the world, and if you haven't done it, you have not lived. 
<laughs> so um, make sure you come back in two weeks and bring your family and friends, and we'll have 25 people per uh, rescue diver. And we'll go through some underwater caves and stuff like that. And, and that's be a lot the most popular one. Uh, we had 80 people uh, last year. That's right. Challenging or uh, uh, as long as there's no surf, yeah, it's wonderful. It's, it's, it's probably going to be flat surf that day, you know. And oh, there's not going to be flat surf for yeah. that day. It's always it's always pretty flat over there. So but that day you really got to be protected. No shorty wetsuit. out here at Shell Beach and we went out through the rip and our plan was to circle Seal Rock and then come back um, on the south end of Shell Beach. Unfortunately because of the way the wave sets were coming over the reef they were pushing too much water and too much energy south and so a lot of our uh, novice swimmers were having trouble in the surf zone swimming against the current back to Shell Beach. So because the, the, the current was pushing south we just used that and we went out through Secrets, which is a little cave on the uh, north side of the children's pool. And right there, the, the waves are breaking over rocks and they kind of, kind of hit a little uh, dead zone. And so it's easier to swim through. We swam right into the cave and had most people exit through that. around the rocks and exited through the uh, north, north end of the children's pool and the seals looked at us, they were curious, but they didn't even move and they just sat there the whole time. It is an excellent place to bring people in because it's protected from the surf by that big wall that, uh, that Scripps built in order to protect that, that area. Okay, when we came around Seal Rock with our group, we went into the break just south of where that big shallow reef is, where the waves are breaking. And we got on the inside and I had a group with me. And then we had people that were still trailing on the outside that needed maybe a little bit of help. So instead of completing our circle around the back of the rock and coming in this side, I had to leave my group and say, you're in on your own, and I had to go out and help some people. When we brought them in, the main current moved us, and I could feel the movement from the water coming over that reef, and it eddied us right into the children's pool area. And so instead of sticking with the original plan and coming in at Shell Beach, the way we brought in those last few tired swimmers it just was easier to move into the children's pool. So, use what the ocean gives you.